Welcome back to Indus Technologies with one more interesting video in which we are going to find out the first 10 prime numbers and we are going to print them. And we are going to find it with the help of this flowchart that I have already drawn and I will explain how this flowchart works. And I will explain this with the help of a memory map. So I will draw a memory map for this flowchart and I will show the process how this flowchart works. First, I have declared and initialized some variables x, count and n. These are three variables that I am using in my flowchart. First, I have declared x. I will write x. Then I have declared another variable count. Then another variable that is n. I have initialized x to 2. So I will write here 2. I have initialized count to 0. I will write 0 in this count. I have initialized n to 2. I will write this 2 here in n. And here I am using if statement and in this decision box I am checking whether x is equal to n or not. This is double equal to that is used for comparison and this is a comparison operator and I am checking whether this x value of x is equal to value of n. If this is equal I have to move along this line and print here x is a prime number. You can find that x is equal to n so I have to write print x is a prime number. So I will write here the value of x is 2. I will write 2 is prime. 2 is prime. After writing this 2 is prime, I have to in increment this count variable by 1. Count is equal to count plus 1. So count is 0. I will increment it by 1. It will become 1. After that, I have to check if this count is less than or equal to 10. Okay. If this is less than or equal to 10, if this is yes, then I have to increment x by 1. I will increment this x by 1. It will become 3. Because if I will increment this x, it will become 3. And I have to move along this line and I have to move here. So here again n is initialized to 2. Previously n was 2 but I have to initialize it again. It will become 2 again. Then I have to use a decision statement here. If x is equal to n, is this x equal to this n? No. It is not equal so I will move along with this no. So if x percent n, so what is x percent n? x is 3 and percent n means I have to divide it with value of n that is 2 2 ones 2 and the remainder is 1 percent means this remainder so I have to use this remainder I have to check this remainder is it equal to 0 I have to check it here this is not equal to 0 this is 1 so it will move to towards this no and here n is incremented by 1 so n is equal to n plus 1 that is 3 if x is greater than n if this x is greater than n this x is equal to n so the condition is false x is not greater than n so it will move to no part and print x is a prime number so what is the value of x this time this is 3 and i have to print 3 is a prime 3 is prime after that count variable will be incremented by 1 again count is equal to count plus 1 this will become 2 again count i have to check whether count is less than or equal to 10 is this 2 less than or equal to 10? Yes, the condition is true and I will move towards this line which is yes. And here x is incremented by 1 again, x will become 4. Again, I have to move in this loop. So n will be again initialized to 2. Replace this 3 with this 2. Then it is a decision here again if x is equal to n. But this x is not equal to n. This is 4 and this is 2. So I will move along with this no. So if x percent n equals to 0 yes this is 0 because 4 percent 2 2 2 is 4 and the remainder is 0 this is 0 okay so this is yes and I have to move along this line here it is showing that x is equal to x plus 1 I have to increment this x by 1 it will become 5 again I have to move in this loop and I will again reach here here it is initializing n again to 2 so it was already 2 now I will again write here 2 here if x is equal to n is this x equal to this n no i will move along with this no part here if x percent n is equal to 0 is this x percent n equal to 0 no 5 5 percent this n this is 2 2 2 is 4 and that is remainder is 1 that is not equal to 0 so it will move along with this no no part and n is equal to n plus 1 n will become 3 and 
if x is greater than n yes this x is greater than n yes and it will again check if x percent n is equal to 0 so x is 5 percent n n is 3 3 ones 3 and this is 2 this is not equal to 0 so I will move towards this no section and n is equal to n plus 1 n will get incremented by 1 it will become 4 is x greater than n yes x is greater than n x is 5 and n is 4 i have to move along with this line and it is again checking if x is x percent n is equal to 0 i will write 5 percent n and n is 4 4 ones 4 and this is not 0 this is 1 remainder is equal to 1 so this time it will again move towards this no and n is equal to n plus 1 n will become 5 and it will check if x is greater than n but this x is equal to n it is not greater than n uh, it will move towards this no here it will write x is a prime number so it will write this 5 5 is prime it will move on and move on till this count this count reaches to 10 because we have if this count is 10 if this is not 10 i have to again move in this cycle it will again and again move in this part till it reaches to 10 so this process will get repeated again and again till this condition will become false if this condition is true if this is yes then it will repeat again and again so when it will become false when count reaches to 10 it should be here less than 10 okay when count is less than 10 because we are starting from 0 so when count becomes 10 it will get out of this loop and it will not move in the cycle again and it will stop here and at the time when it will stop it will have written all this two this three this five and seven it will have written all 10 prime numbers so this way this uh, program will work thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel industry technologies